Hi everyone, this video is part of the Instructable lesson called Balloon Cars. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to design the car body. The first shape we'll need for this is going to be the box. Change the width to 4 inches, depth to 2 inches, and the height to 1 eighth of an inch. Next, we'll select the work plane and we'll click on top of the car body. The second shape we'll import is going to be the rounded roof. Change its depth and width to 0.3 inches. The height will also be 1 eighth of an inch. Reselect the work plane and click anywhere off the shapes. Reselect the two shapes and align them to one of the corners. You can duplicate the remaining rounded roof and paste it in all four corners of the car body. Next, we're going to make the hole cutouts for the tap screws. To do this, we'll import the cylinder hole and we'll change its diameter to 0.11 inches. The height can be set to anything above 2 inches. Next, we'll rotate the cylinder hole 90 degrees. In this view, you can manually move the hole until you feel it cuts through the car body. Select one of the rounded roofs and the whole cylinder and align them to the rounded roof center. You'll reselect the cylinder and you'll press D on your keyboard to drop it to the ground. You'll set the snap grid to 1 16th of an inch and you'll select the whole cylinder. Then you'll select the little black arrow above the shape and you'll drag the shape up just once. Once that's done, you're going to reselect the cylinder and you're going to duplicate it. With the cylinder and the rounded roof selected on the opposite end, you will again align the cylinder to the rounded roof center. Once everything's aligned, we select all seven shapes and group them together. Next, we'll be creating the shape that's going to hold the tubing on the balloon. Import a box shape. Change its height to 0.48 inches. Change the width to half an inch. The length can remain at 1 inches. Next, you'll select this box and the body and you will align them to the center. From the side, feel free to select the extra box and use the left and the right key arrows to change the position of where this box is going to go. If you don't have a preference, feel free to leave it in the center. Next, we're going to import a box. This box is going to be used for reference purposes only. Its overall height is going to be the height of the balloon car body plus 0.10 inches. 
So the overall height should be 0.225 inches high. This reference box does not need to be moved anywhere in particular, but you're more than welcome to move it somewhere onto the middle of the base. Next, we're going to click on the cylinder hole. And we're going to change the diameter to 0.38 inches. Rotate the shape 90 degrees so it cuts vertically through the center box. You'll click on the work plane and you'll click on the guided box that we're going to use to drop the cylinder to. Reselect the cylinder, press G on your keyboard to drop it. Once that's done, reselect the work plane and click anywhere off the shapes. Select the guide cylinder and delete it. Select the remaining cylinder and the box and align them to its center width and center depth. Do not align it to the center height. Group the two shapes once you're done. When you feel comfortable with positioning of everything, group all the shapes together. Next, I'll be showing you how to put your name onto your balloon car. Under the drop down menu, select text and numbers. Click and drag the text box into the work plane. Type in your name and change the shape into a hole. Change the height of the name to 1 16th of an inch. Change the length and width of the text box to be smaller than the balloon car body. Align the name to the center of the balloon car. Next, you'll need to reselect the name and rotate it 180 degrees. Select all the shapes and group them together. and export as an STL.